friends, I'm Dr. Sandeepa Biswas and you're watching my channel Econs on Earth. In this video, I'm going to describe the economic region of production or the description of the ridge lines. So you know that the economic theory focuses those combinations of factors of production which are technically efficient and the marginal product of the factors of production are diminishing but positive. Right. So you have isoquant map here and you know that on the vertical axis you take the capital, the factors of production and on the horizontal axis you take labor, the another factor of production. Here is the isoquants Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So these isoquants suggest that the level of uh, output is the same on uh, throughout this uh, this particular isocon with different combinations of the two factors of production that is capital and labor here but you can see that the um, uh, the isocon over here has a definite region which is convex to the origin you know that the isocon uh, the properties of isoquant is that it should be convex to the origin but here you can see that there are a certain uh, uh, or particular point after which this isoquant uh, gets positive at the shape or the slope of this isoquant is no longer uh, have a negative slope so this is all about you have to understand while discussing or while understanding uh, the concept of ridge lines, right? So you can see two uh, rays here that is OA and OB. What does uh, these lines are? The very line OA and OB are the ridge lines which encircles the efficient uh, or the range of efficient combinations of factors of production which gives the same uh, level of output at the particular uh, isoquant and each you know that each successive isoquant which is uh, right upward to the right shows the higher level of production let me er erase it first is efficient what does that mean we you can see that the slope of the uh, isocon starts to become positive above this o uh, above, uh, on this oa line above say point uh, a1 right what does that mean it means that for uh, producing the same amount of output you are increasing the amount of capital and the uh, and its productivity is not increasing because you know that on the isoquant on a particular isoquant the output of a, uh, the uh, particular uh, isoquant the level of output is the same so after a, uh, when this um, when this uh, uh, curve the slope of this curve gets positive it means you are increasing the level of factors of production uh, both the levels of factors of production that is capital and labor that means a producer is increasing both the factors of production to get the same amount of output which he can attain at this level where he has a trade-off between the factors of production where he 
has he uh, or he is substituting one uh, factors of production for another but uh, above this range the producer has to uh, increase both of the production that is inefficient for a producer here to uh, after uh, below this range say b1 the slope of the isocontour again gets positive that means a producer has to increase both the factors of production to attain the same amount of uh, output which is not feasible for a rational producer that is why it is said in the beginning that the marginal productivity or the marginal product of a factor should be diminishing but positive right but when you go above the marginal product of particular factor gets uh, negative because one of the factor is uh, is not giving any positive output above this point the marginal product of capital is becoming negative that is by employing more of the capital the uh, increment in output is nothing or the uh, increased uh, amount of capital is adding nothing to the uh, level of output same uh, here by um, uh, below this point b1 the increase increased amount of labor is adding nothing to the uh, or decreasing rather to the level of output so the feasible region or the economic region or the efficient combination of uh, factors of production lies within this uh, two ridge lines and it encircles the convex uh, portion of the isocont on which the slope of the isocont is negative and convex to the origin. So here is the uh, explanation of the ridge lines. You know that producers are rational and he will not and, uh, and the resources he has, he or she has is limited and she or he will not uh, waste his uh, money uh, by employing more of uh, factors of production which has a negative productivity. So this is the ridge line and all it's due for a producer. The points above the upper ridge line and the points or the region below the lower ridge line is called the region of economic nonsense. That means no producer will operate on uh, this area and on this area. So thank you. I hope you liked the video and subscribe my channel if you liked it and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much.